actually want to say is uh, uh, let 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 it be just random, okay? Well, the boringest API in the world. This is the most difficult video to make. Hey, how's it going, guys? My name is Daniel, aka Hashlabs, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I've got a special surprise for you. I've got Shivam here. He's an amazing dev who's worked with humanoid AI robots. Can you believe that? Shivam is going to tell us about some APIs because this video is the API of the week. Now, we're going to do this in a series telling you about free APIs as a developer that you can use. But first of all, Shivam, thank you for coming to my channel and welcome. Thank you for having me here, Daniel. Only a pleasure, man. So Shivam told me about this board API a while back, and I was like, okay, let's make a video about this and check it out. So Shivam, tell us a bit more about this board API. What is what is it about and how can we use it? Daniel, the most amazing part of this API is it tells you something to do. How many times have you been bored in your day and you don't know what to do? And then you end up spending more time finding what to do, right? So this is what this API solves. I mean, it does that job perfectly and tells you what you need to do. So it's a single function API. How cool is that? It's very cool. It's a single function API, right? You query it, uh, give it an activity, participants, one, um, and then it can give you back. So what if we change the participants here to maybe three? Let's see what activity we get to three people. Um, but anyway, this you can query as a developer to read back data to make some cool app and it gives you even gives you social types hey that's cool yeah and the most amazing part that i think is uh, there could be intuitive apps that could be built on top of this imagine a discord bot that sits inside a channel and counts the number of participants and suggests like an activity based on the participants in there right it could join a group call and say hey you're five people why don't you try ahead and do this right so there's so many use cases that could come out from this one single library. I would be amazed if people watching this video would build something nice and share it to us back. Yeah, I mean, if you're watching this video right now and you want to try out Board API, build a small app and share it with us in the Hashlabs Discord channel. That's that's what that would be very cool. But exactly what you say, you know, it gives us back enough information. I'm seeing now there's a few parameters down there: activity types, participants. And there's enough information for you to actually build a workable application. That's fun, right? And, and in your use case or in your example, uh, building a bot, you can potentially have the bot pick up how many users there are in a room and you can just suggest to them any activity like playing a card game. Yes, and uh, this could also be done randomly. Uh, the other use case that I see is to put these activities as node screens because... Uh, in the NFT world, we definitely know that it takes time for to fetch data from IPFS, right? So when, when you're fetching that information, you could actually put put a little activity there uh, to make it fun and say, why don't you like just have a picnic? And uh, uh, meanwhile, while I load your uh, NFTs. <laughs> well, that sounds just amazing. Shivam, thank you so much for telling us about Board API. If you want to go and check out Board API, go to the website over there and uh, play around with it you know have some fun as a developer we always like apis and especially ones that we can query for free so shivam thank you so much for being here today with me thank you for having me daniel yeah and viewers out there don't be bored go and check out this api and check out our other videos if you like this video give us a sub and we'll see you in the next video cheers for now